Hi everybody, this is Kelly and welcome back to my channel, My Unexpected Homeschool. Today, I just wanted to take a few minutes and do a flip through of the curriculum that we're using for my son who is in first grade. You will see several different levels here. I fully believe on teaching your child where they are currently at. For handwriting, he's working on level two from the good and the beautiful. Just to give you an idea of what the pages look like. It does change after a little bit, slightly smaller handwriting. For language arts, he is finishing up level K. He is on lesson 78 out of 120. So he doesn't have too much more to go in this book. And once he finishes it, then we will start level one. I really do like how this is set up. I like how things are presented to the kids. Some of the lessons are a little bit longer than the others, but overall it's something that we can't handle in one sitting. For math this year, we switched to the good and the beautiful. Last year we used master books and while he flew through a level and a half, I don't feel like he truly retained what he needed to. So I went with a brand new curriculum. This is their new program. So Simply Good and Beautiful Math. And he's on level one. If you are thinking about doing this curriculum, please have your child take the assessment that they offer to see what level they need to start on. So we are several lessons into this now. We have played games. We have worked on different skills that has been a review. Some of it is brand new to him. I have had to explain some of the wording for him just because he was used to how Master Books presented it, which is different. But I do like how we have the lessons. We have a, a review. So it's not just one page and move on. This curriculum also comes with this awesome manipulatives box. The outside is the clock that we can work on telling time. Let's see if I can get this open with one hand. Sorry, this is harder to do one handed. The back side is magnetic and dry erase. So our tanogram pieces will stick to this so he can make the different activities they have listed. He has coins in here. He hasn't gotten to that yet, so that's why they're still in the bag. We have dice, tells you to go left or right and then regular dice for numbers. And these super fun boats they get used in the games and he loves that he gets to pick which one he gets to do and it's not just me telling him oh pick this boat he gets to decide which one he wants and then we also have these really fun clocks that we use for activities they are two-sided and it'll tell you which clock that you need for the specific activity now for our social studies and science, we do those together with both my kids. We are doing not grass, our 50 states for social studies. I do like how this has it broken down. We are probably gonna be doing this a little bit slower than they want us to, but that's okay. Unit one is New England. We're looking at Maine and New Hampshire. So we have lessons about Maine. There's activities that you can do, stories that relate to the location, and it goes on to the next state, and it's like that for 
majority of the book. Now, as we go through the textbook, we will also be working on our student workbook. Color our states as we learn about them. Each state has pages that you can do to reinforce what you have learned. Ours are currently blank. We're starting this this week, but from everything that we have looked over, we are pretty excited about it. We're happy to learn about different areas around us, what they're known for, a little bit of the history. Now, we did start science today. We started mammals. This is also from The Good and the Beautiful. I have everything pulled out and into page protectors so I can just flip through. Super easy. We have done several other science units from The Good and the Beautiful, and I will say that this one seems to have longer lessons than the others, so we are breaking this up. I felt like lesson one was a little long, but that's, again, that's my personal preference and how long my kids were willing to sit and participate. So learning a whole bunch about different parts of being a mammal and what that means. They do have extension activities for older grades, older students. We will not be doing those. Those are for grades seventh and eighth. They're in here so I can keep the information together. I also will not be doing absolutely every single component of this. Some things I feel like might be a little bit too old for my kids. So I will use my judgment on what part of the lessons that we will do and what we won't. But that is the beauty of it. We get to decide what is age appropriate and what our kids are gonna be comfortable with. Hopefully this gives you some ideas of things that you can do with your kids. If you have any questions about any of these specific curriculums that we're using, please leave a comment down below.